A coalition of civil society groups in Nigeria have hailed the bold decision of members of the House of Representatives for rejecting genetically modified organisms, GMO, consumption in Nigeria. This commendation came during a press briefing organized by the Health for Mother Earth Foundation, HOMEF, to, to further inform Nigerians on the danger of allowing GM crops consumption in the country. Consumption, rather, in the country. In her opening remark, while presenting an overview of Nigeria's adoption of GMOs while, and why some countries in Europe, Asia, and Africa are rejecting it, the representative of HOMEF, Joyce Brown, called on the Nigerian government to place a total ban on GMOs in the country. Nigeria does not uh, need GMOs to solve the problem of food insecurity. We want to check what are the risks, what are the core factors, you know, bringing about food insecurity. Well, number one is poverty, right? Number one is poverty, inequality, and a host of other things. Lack of adequate support for smallholder farmers. So our call, of course, is for the Nigerian government and other African governments to ban GMOs and to adopt an approach that is most sustainable and rooted in local realities. And that approach is agroecology that, of course, includes organic agriculture, agroforestry, regenerative. Her position was further highlighted by other members of the civil society who took turns to address the dangers associated with the continuous use of GMOs. They also condemn biotechnology agencies in the country concluding or colluding with manufacturers of the products. I would suggest to the government that if they had the good sense of setting up a biotechnology agency, they should have the good sense of setting up the flip side of biotechnology, which is biosafety. And I will suggest to this government that they should set up a biosafety research facility that will help them to understand what the outcomes and the dangers and risks of uh, biotechnology as a product is. I am not against biotechnology research, but I'm against the process and product that becomes that comes out of biotechnology research. 51.6 percent perceive transgenic crops as beneficial than conventional crop because of the crap which it is sold. Oh, you resist uh, pests. Oh, you don't use plenty of herbicide. They will not tell you that you don't use it. In fact, some that you say you don't need herbicide, which is a lie. Farmers focus more on the short-term gain without fully considering the long-term environmental impact, such uh, as the soil degradation, biodiversity loss, and dependence on the seed supplier. They feel that the government agencies saddled with the regulation of GM are not doing enough. They're saying deceptive marketing practices. The packet of telemates that we saw, even at the hearing yesterday, had hybrid on it. Meanwhile, it is GM. You're saying that's, and you're saying product safety standard. These things are not said to be safe in any economy in the world. The exact risk assessment process that the biosafety organization in Nigeria used is the same that was used in Austria. <coughs> and Austria rejected telemates, rejected um, um, GMOs because of the EFSA risk assessment protocol. And that was what was used in Nigeria who came all the way from South Africa to join the crusade, also warned of its consequences and why GMOs remain banned in their region. A lot of those countries around South Africa also used hybrid seeds. And the hybrid seeds do not reproduce true to what crop you had initially. And as such, you have to continue to go and buy, just like the GMOs, new seeds, to put into the ground, and you have to be dependent on chemical fertilizers that destroy the soils, that kill the nematodes, that kill the worms, that kill the living organisms and give you a dead soil. Not only is the dead is the soil dead, it's not cohesive. A lot Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.